What's going on guys? I took a trip to Once Upon a Child and they had a just mass amounts of Thomas goodies in there. I'm going to show you what I got there. Uh, it's actually my second take of this as my phone does not like recording sometimes and it did not want to record that first one that I did. So I got another version of Tidmouth Sheds. I need to get the wooden railway one, but it's too expensive, I'm poor, and I hate paying too much. This on the other hand was, I think, a good price. I'm going to flip this over here for $5.50. I decided I wasn't going to say no. There's everything still with it. Obviously the Thomas, I'm assuming it's Thomas that came with it, it's not with it. There's the back, folds back, you can go wherever you want if you don't want to be in the sheds, you just bust right through the back of it. So that's that. Throw it over here. So then this bag was the Great Waterton like carry. I don't even know what the specific term for this was. I'm pretty sure there was a specific term for it, but I forget. Uh, the Great Waterton portable set. Pretty neat little thing. This was like basically, I mean, I wanted it because I want all of the versions of this, but that was not the main attraction. The main attraction was this here. The engine wash. Engine wash. Come on now. Open up for me, would you? There we go. This was golden right here. This guy. have never put one of these together, but I'm going to attempt it. I don't even know how, was it, I guess the straight's going to have to be used? I don't know. Um, I don't think these, do you think these straights are too big? Or was it like that? I think it might have been like that. Was it like this? I really don't know. Probably should have done research before I bought it, eh? Um, yeah, that actually does fit like that. So I'm going to assume that this was the playset and it wasn't just a circle. But it did come with Percy. And if I remember right, Percy was the one that came with this set. But don't quote me on that. That's really cool. If I can get it out, there we go. Nah, not so much. So I'll go ahead and flip it around, show you the inside of it. This part's completely blank, but over here, actually, yeah, it, Percy was the one that came with it because <laughs> this is the uh, blueprints for Percy there. You got a calendar, so I guess this was made in August. Interesting. So there's Percy. I, want, I can't, I'm pretty sure this is the one that came with it. Because take along was these couplers. I know that. But now I've got, and also in that little bag was a, another Scarlowy. Always happy to have an air gauge engine on board here. And then Scruff. This is take and play. Take along. I don't know why they cha even changed the name of it. But this is like instantly already a lot lighter than the others. I don't know too super duper a lot about them, but I'm happy to have those on board. What did I pay for that? So all of that there only paid $8.50. It also came with a adapter for the other track. Gently put this here, and this is going to go like that. This was what shocked me the most right here. This is actually really heavy. So, in one of these bags, it's actually already ripped open, is something that I cannot believe, there it is, that is already in secondhand shops. Where'd it go? Where'd you go? I just saw you. There we are. Look at this. In a secondhand shop already is the original Thomas. Hugo, I'm not surprised about. 
I don't know what else is in this, so we're, I'm actually going to just go ahead and pull it open like that. Wow, these are actually kind of... Alright, that's cool. So, the track system I did see was Chuggington Stack Track. I guess there's multiple sets in this in these bags. So I guess this one came with an engine originally. I have no idea who that is. Okay, so it's Coco. So it was Coco. I don't know any my Chuggington lingo. This actually looks pretty nice. Like it looks new. Um, I do want to reach around in here and grab the Thomas. There's this is sad. There's not a nick on this thing. It looks like it came straight out of the package. Um, the funnel's not nicked. None of the corners are nicked. The, no nicks or anything on the bottom, it doesn't look like. The couplings aren't super loose. I mean, they're tight still. Like, I'm wondering if they didn't just buy a brand new ones of these and throw them in. And this is my first model of Hugo. And Wow, he's actually got some weight to him. This is the Adventures line, I think. Does it say? I'm almost positive that's Adventures. But, uh... One I never thought I would buy because I do not like Hugo. Very interesting. I think those are the only engines that were in this. But let's pull out a couple pieces of track. The track system is interesting, to say. Uh, I don't even know what's going on with this. As you can tell, I don't script any of my videos, if you haven't noticed. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Grab one of these. So it looks like Chuggington had an idea. And we copied it, just reversed the male and female sections. I also think I could probably use, reuse some of these pieces. Let's see if I have a short curve somewhere close by here. So I wonder if we can't... Ooh. We could be reusing parts of this. I like where it's going. Crane was definitely the part that stood out. Brewster's build adventure set, so I'm big build, so I'm assuming this was with Brewster. I don't even know. <laughs> it's so big, it just. Oh man, I'm gonna have to figure this out. I might make a separate video on it. I'm definitely going to build these these sets for sure, but. It doesn't look like there's any other engines in it. It looks like it was just the Thomas and Hugo. Is this a car? No. I don't even know what that is. I would have liked to have some of the Chuggington engines, but uh, I'm not going to go out and actively search for them. So, yeah, that one doesn't have any engines in it. I paid $12 for this, by the way. Uh, for two Adventures engines, they're normally about $6 each or so. Yeah, there's another tag there that says 12 oh, Here's another cool piece. Sorry if that is completely just demolishing the figures. Probably should have opened this earlier. This was really neat. I don't know what exactly it does. I think it's a collapsing bridge. But that is really cool to me. And it stood out, so I decided to get it with that as well. There's a, a couple few... This is interesting. Look at this thing. Okay, well. It does not feel very well built, but I could be totally wrong. A tunnel. Did the stack track trains have to be used with this, or could it be used with, like, other engines? Yeah, so there's no other engines in here. Oh, oh, look at this. Ryan's in here. Oh, my gosh. I have an Adventures Ryan. 
never opened it. So this is a awesome surprise. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig around in here some more. So that's what this set to look this set will look like when the frame is done built. That little dude snuck by me. We're gonna go back in here for a minute and start taking stuff out. Maybe. What is this piece here? Is this another station? Oh my god. Here we go. There we go. Got it out. Um. Oh. Okay. So that piece moves up and down. A bunch of risers. I think that might be why it's called a stack track. All the risers and crap in here. That. I actually like that piece. I like it. What's this? Oh, that's cool and fun and interactive. Um, that's actually really heavy for just plastic. Anything else in here that is of awesomeness? I do not think so. Nope. It only came with the three engines. Right. Is that an engine? We don't like him. We like him. Original Thomas. We like you. We like Ryan. Let's take a quick look at Ryan. I actually don't have... This is one of the only models I have of Ryan. And this one looks to be in the same boat. It's magnets. Or not magnets, but the coupling. Normally when you play with it, like, it'll be stuck like that. Or like, it has like a rougher part where it can stick instead of real loose. And these were all real, they were still stiff, they weren't loose. So I'm guessing these were bought and just thrown into this bag to give it engines. Um, I don't think it even came with engines, but oh well. Do you guys want to see this built? If not, I don't blame you. I can make a video on it if you want. I don't know. What did worry me was there was a ton of Trackmaster 2 and a ton of sets that are like this. I'm not saying anything that they're connected because of the way they play, but I'm also saying that at the same time, but I'm going to keep going back every now and then, probably every two week, week every two weeks, and seeing what they have. I'm keeping an eye out for the newer stuff. Because there wasn't much old stuff. I bought all the old stuff. There was almost hardly any, any old stuff. There's a lot of newer, less fun train toys in there, though. Trackmaster 2, calling you out, man. You got to step it up. The one-trick ponies aren't going to work much longer.